Hey guys, welcome back to this channel. In this video, I'm going to update you on our tuberous drosteras, tuberous sundews that are right over there, otherwise known as the carnivorous plant that literally lives underground. It makes a tuber, a little ball, like a little potato underground during the summertime. And in wintertime, like it is now, it grows out the ground. And guys, they look so, so good. And there's about two of them, which I'm extremely, extremely excited to show you guys. So yeah. Um, I cannot wait to show you guys. But let's get back to the topic of the weather, like I've been telling you guys. It's strange because in Australia, the weather is actually like a very viable thing to talk about. Where generally it's like something that you guys just talk about if you have nothing else to talk about. Guys, as you can tell, it's still raining. Look, it's still raining. I live in Australia, but I might as well be living in the UK. Because honestly, it's it just doesn't stop. Let me show you this real quick. So remember I told you guys like last weekend i could barely recall because it's raining like it's still drizzling now but yeah the past two days it stopped raining i was like finally like we have a break but yeah it's raining again today and this is happening again <sighs> so guys yeah we're still dealing with the issue of the rain but just a quick thing to address on with you guys last with last video that we had the table is still drying out it's been a week. It's been a full week and the table still has water in it and it's almost dried out. So just for those of you guys who did watch that video, like I said, you have to let it dry out or else the plants can and will rot away. And you see it takes a week when it is super wet. So just something for you guys to keep in mind. Now let's jump onto our tuberous drosser over here, but I'm going to take out the ones that I really want you guys to see like close up. So I'll update you guys on the boring ones, but the really special ones I'm going to take out. So make sure you watch until the end of the video because honestly, they look so, so good. And I'm so excited and happy to have these in my collection. Okay, so let me not postpone this. Let me get started. Let me take them out and I'll show you right now. Okay, so here we have our tuberous drosteras seedlings in all the round pots. As you can tell, only some of them are starting to come up. This is Drosera murii. Down there is Drosera basifolia. It's a very, very pretty one actually. So it makes a little base plant and then out of that base, it grows the upright stems. It's part of the Peltata complex, if I'm not wrong. And also the traps stay very close together. Unlike these guys where the traps are pretty far apart. So yeah, but that's still, still obviously a seedling, very, very young and nothing else has really come out. I do see one Drosera latifolia there that sprouted. And yeah, that Moria that I just showed you over there. Nothing else except for the Drosera whittakeri over here. This is from Mount Crawford in South Australia. See them popping up everywhere. Very good looking plant, guys. I really like Drosera Wittakeri. And yeah, you guys might hear the rain coming on and off. So I'm sorry if it is loud. I do apologize, but I, like, there's literally nothing I can do about it. So it's getting more aphids off, guys. We, we have a serious aphid problem this season, it looks like. Anyway, this is Drosera auriculata and nothing has come out. I don't know why nothing has come out because generally these plants always come out, you know? Auriculata, they pretty easy growers, so I'm surprised that nothing has come out. Otherwise, we do have, have our Drosera macrantha here with aphids. Take them off and squeeze them because they are a pest. But yeah, there's not much that I'm there's not much that I'm currently doing to get rid of these aphids at the moment, guys. But because it is going into winter and um, yeah, it is freezing cold right now. Well, you know, 20 degrees. Pretty warm for the rest of you guys, I guess. But for me, because we're going into winter, I'm not stressing too much about the aphids because they generally come in springtime and they shouldn't establish themselves that well right now, the aphids. Anyway, Drosera platyhodia. Nothing has come up yet. Next to it, we have Drosera macrantha. See, they're all kind of intermixed with this very pretty plant. You see the upright 
bowl-shaped traps. Very, very pretty little traps. Let me see if I can get you one at an angle. Little starbursts. Very pretty. Next to that, we have our Drosra Guniana. Not much going on there, but there is another one coming out next to it. They are one of these upright growers too, if I'm not mistaken. Over here we have Drosra Graniticola. You can see it's forming a very thick stem coming out the ground there and then one just behind it. And one in the center of the screen. Kind of little sprouts coming up everywhere, but this one here, see there's two there, the most established ones. And they're just about creating their first traps. So, I am very excited to see these guys. And if you want to see these guys, literally in the, like the next two weeks, just like the other ones that I'm missing there, that I will update you guys at the end of this video. If you guys are excited to see these ones grow up, make sure you subscribe to the channel because in two weeks time, I will do another update video because that's how quickly these plants grow. They grow insanely fast. This is a month's worth of growth. All of this. It's insane, guys. So make sure you subscribe to the channel so you do not miss out on that video. Back here we have Drosera something, I don't know until it will come out. And here we have Modesta, nothing yet. Planconii, once again, nothing yet. But here we just have Drosera Arame, absolutely going insane. All of this growth here is all from Drosera Arame. It's also a very, very pretty plant. You guys can see the little star-like traps see how I can get that in focus for you there we go very pretty plant and obviously a very quick grower it just grows like everywhere it's insane it's awesome though back there we have something Arame Ooh, Stolonifera yep nothing coming up yet Andersoniana just starting to come out the ground, making a, a big little pup of growth. They have these sort of oblong shaped traps. Very nice looking plants, honestly. Over here we have the Menzissii. Very, very upright, sturdy plants. I really like these ones. But you, you guys will notice the similarity between all these plants that they have little starbursts because they are part of the same like little family, you know, it's like the same sort of subdivision of each other. I think I think it's called the Piltata complex. I'm really not sure, but they do look very similar because of it. But yeah, they're very, very pretty plants. But you can tell like these guys grow upright and these guys grow like out and onto everything, which, you know, it's awesome. Back here we have a Macrantha, which has kind of grown funny because this was like the first plant to start growing before I took it out of the garage. All these red wisps had already started growing. If you guys watched the first video, you would remember that. But yeah, like, I mean the very first video, not a second one that we did, this is the third one. If you watched the first one, you remember me taking them out. These were already grown in the garage, so. Yeah, I waited a little bit too long, but they'll be all right. And otherwise for the back, nothing coming up in Guiana, but our Drosra Hukeri has some new growth. So if you guys do want to see these two, make sure that you subscribe so you don't miss out on our next update video. But honestly, I'm so excited for our plants. Pelosa, nothing coming up. Oh, Palida, sorry. I'm so excited for our plants, guys, because winter time is when tuberous drosera grows and it is autumn. So they're just getting started. And I cannot wait to share it with you guys. Otherwise, the rest of the plants are getting ready for dormancy. Most of our set, um, Venus flytraps are starting to go dormant now. Some Bermania and Alicia is growing together. And a Mirror Venus flytrap. How cool is that, guys? But yeah, this is our Bermania eyes that we got from one of our subscribers. It is looking very, very healthy. Alicia there. But yeah, for the most part, our plants aren't very happy because the summers here have been... The summer has been just atrocious for the plants and the weather is just not right for them, sadly. So yeah. That's why some of you guys remember I am trying to move to the USA and if any of you guys have experience of moving from somewhere else to the USA, please uh, just give me a shout out, have a couple questions and it would be very, very helpful if you guys could um, just give me some information on that because yeah, 
I'm gonna get there so I can see you guys, sell the plants to you guys, and you know, actually start growing a big collection with everyone. Anyway, let's look at those two over there. Okay, guys, first up, I'm going to show you Drosera rupicola. This plant has grown a lot since the last video. Um, yeah, and it's eating a lot too. Let me show you. If you guys remember the last video, this plant had just the inside little like traps forming but now you can see they form their longer stolons that they create that will run across the ground and you can see they're eating a lot of food a lot of bugs that one's still alive look at that a little mosquito or something cool but yeah guys this plant has grown so so well there's even like a ancient looking fly over here yeah, there it is. But yeah, you guys can see just how awesome it's looking. How much this plant has grown in literally two weeks since I last showed you guys the video. Look at that. Such a happy plant, guys. Now, as you guys can tell in this plant, the center of this little specific plant here looks like there's little balls or little bulbs sticking out i don't know if you guys can really see that but i think it might be creating flowers and that will be a first for me um a plant that's not part of the piltata complex creating flowers because the rest flower every single time it's very you know like stop flowering please because then that just gets seeds everywhere but yeah guys this is one that i actually really like it's a very unique different type of plant and yeah, to get some flowers will be awesome. So I can't wait to show you guys those flowers. We can pollinate them together. I can show you how to pollinate them and we can get some seeds. And yeah, maybe if someone can get some seeds from this specific plant too, I'll just for Rupicola. But yeah, there's no roots at the bottom just yet. This plant is very, very, very special. I really like how it looks. But next up, we have Drosera. What is it? Drosera colonnae guys, and this thing has exploded in growth, honestly. So this Drosera colonnae I got from one of our, well not a subscriber, but a guy in Australia who obviously grows these plants, because tubus drosera are Australian plants. And almost all of the tubus droseras that I got and quite a few of this, like more rarer plants, the cold growers that I have down there, those plants I got from him because we did a seed trade. And I think this colonnae, he gave me five or so tubers of it. It's one of the bigger, um, tuberous drosteras and I've, I had it now for three seasons and wow guys <laughs> check take a look at this look at the size of this plant guys if you guys remember last time you saw it, it was literally just a little ball still forming and when I've had it over the past few years the first year it didn't do anything the second year it made a small plant about that big and now it's literally doubled in size this plant is beautiful honestly look at it like I'm genuinely I love this little plant i love this little flat low-laying leaves that are that look almost furry and where the red is it's, it's just the you know the tentacles like overlapping each other and making it look red it's just it's genuinely so unique guys i really really like this plant i love how it looks and i'm so glad that it's growing and that it's so healthy wow guys this is a plant that i will take with me to the usa it's not difficult, I just need an import permits and obviously I'll follow the rules and everything. I don't mind doing that, but it's just getting them, getting plants into Australia is nearly impossible. So that's why I really want to move to the USA because that's where the plants are and that's what I want. I want amazing plants just like this. So just a little bit of care for you guys. Like I said earlier, they go to sleep in summer. They literally go underground, they make a little tuber about that far down. They live there, they stay there for six months of the year, and then winter time, they come out the ground, they'll grow, 
eat as many bugs as they can. Maybe they'll flower and then they'll go back underground and make their little potato underground. So that means that you water them in winter and during summer you literally let them get bone dry. I leave them in the garage so that there's no direct sunlight on them and no water. They just go bone dry. That's what they want. They are native to Australia where it's supposed to be, you know, dry in summer. Um, it's been wet for 19 weekends out of 23 this year. And it's not been rain. It's been... It's not rained for those 19. It's been rain bombs for the 19. So... It's just insane. But yeah. Otherwise, give them full sunlight in the winter time, like outside. I'll be more than happy. Anyway, guys, I really hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please remember to leave a like. If you have any questions or video suggestions, let me know in the comments or email me or Facebook me or Instagram me. If you live in Australia, you want some plants, I am selling some. Let me know. Rather, guys, otherwise, guys, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on our next update video on these plants. But yeah, how awesome are they? Anyway, I'll see you guys then.